If you hired a licensed electrician to swap out a 15 or 20 amp outlet, whether that's a new installation or just replacing an old one, this is most likely the result you're going to get. Now the power's out to this one, but it shows a common installation of the black hot conductor going to the gold side terminals in a side wire wiring configuration where the wire is clockwise installed underneath the gold screw terminal. Now this is all correct and there's nothing wrong with it. And on the other side, we'd have our white neutral conductor going to our silver terminals and our bare ground going to the green screw terminal. But as a DIYer taking on these projects around my own house, I think there is a better way that can save you time and more consistently result in a correctly installed outlet, reducing the chances of any failures in the future. So let's jump into it and go over that better approach when it comes to DIYers taking on these projects. So I called this a residential grade. That is because it's basically the cheapest type of outlet that you can get. For DIYers, I recommend to upgrade. So you can either go, this is my favorite, standard duplex outlet. It's a commercial grade or spec grade by Legrand. And this is gonna give us better options for wiring as compared to side wiring that we saw on this residential grade. So that's the one I'll install. But a new contender to the market is Leviton came out with this Decora Edge in 2023. And this integrates levers to hold the wires in. So you open up the le lever, pass the wire through the back, close the lever, and then that is all you have to do. And then you have no exposed screw terminals from the side. Everything is concealed. And if you correctly wire, you have no exposed copper. So a lot of advantages to something like this for DIYers. Now this one only comes in the flat front face, which is called a Decora series, but I'm pretty confident that they'll be expanding this lineup in the future. So I'm gonna to upgrade to the commercial grade, and that's gonna show what I really recommend for DIYers in terms of wiring. Undoing these screw terminals, you'll see serviceability on these J-hooks is a little tougher. It's gonna to take a little bit more time to get those off. And sometimes you have to cut your wires a little shorter just to get some clean copper stripped off. Now, I do recommend a multi-bit screwdriver like this one from Klein Tools. It has the Robertson heads that are perfect for this type of work and superior to like a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips when you're tightening down the screw terminals. It also has some nut drivers and you'll see a link in the description and this will serve you well in a lot of electrical and HVAC work. So I'm gonna snip off the J hook for the black and the white. Now you will leave the copper if you want to get rid of any J hooks, the Decora Edge is going to give you that capability, but this commercial grade, we're still going to have to go with the J hook on the green ground. Now, referencing that strip gauge, I'm going to strip off insulation to expose the copper for the hot, the black wire, and the neutral, the white wire, straightening things out a little bit. And here's where the commercial grade really shines and where I think DIYers should do it differently than professionals. And that is upgrading to commercial grade so we can go straight in the back and use back wiring. You saw that plate fall down here, so that's how this works. We're gonna put the wire between that plate and the outside gold plate. And then when we tighten the screw, it tightens the plate down, opposed to tightening the J hook underneath the screw like we saw earlier with the residential grade. So that's really the difference is I recommend this highly for DIYers is upgrading your hardware so you can have this feature. Why? Well, if we take that off, you can see it's much more serviceable. The copper is not damaged, it's straight, and we won't have to shorten our wires if we ever need to service this outlet. Now we have all of our connections made. We can place those back in to the box itself and starting to tighten down. Now it's very common for many of us that your drywall might be overcut, might be cut a little bit too big where those Mickey Mouse ears are not catching the drywall so your outlet can be a little bit loose. But what we use is these little spacers and you just flip them over here. Two of those will equal a quarter of an inch. So I can go ahead and put those on the top and the bottom mounting screw, then tighten those back up and it's gonna be a much more secure hold and a secure feel. Flip around to a flat head on that multi bit and then tighten up our wall plate. Now I wanna hear your preference in the comments below the video. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you prefer this method? Or are you sticking with side wiring? And also let me know, are you a DIYer or professional? Because that gives me some context. To be clear, residential glade outlets also have wiring through the back. 
That is called speed wiring or backstabbing. That is not what I'm recommending. If you want more information on backstabbing and different options and tools, check out this video up here. It'll dive much deeper and just give it a good overview of DIY residential electrical. Now, if you want to dive deeper in another pro kind of versus DIYer, check out this video right here where we put Wago lever nuts, which I prefer for DIYers against professionally preferred wire nuts and we really run some load through them to see if the Wago lever nuts can take it. And last thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because then you'll get updates whenever we're releasing these new videos and help us get to a million subs in 2024. So thanks for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next videos. Take care.